Optimism took hold of the financial markets as there were several positive developments in the battle against COVID-19 and in the economy. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell testified to Congress and emphasized how much the Fed is going to support the economy's rebound. These factors overwhelmed continued mass protests about police violence and a sharp rise in coronavirus cases, mostly in the South. Let me catch you up on the events of the week and offer some ways to find a financial advisor in these very tricky times. I'm Jordan Goodman, America's Money Answers Man, and this is the Money Answers Week in Review. The number of Americans filing for unemployment claims rose by another 1.5 million last week, leading to a staggering total of 45 million in the last 13 weeks. There are now over 20 million Americans on unemployment benefits. But there were some upside economic surprises, as retail sales rose by 18% and new home starts rose by 4%. The most significant news of the week was in England, where a clinical trial of 6,000 COVID patients done by Oxford University found that a drug called dexamethasone, which is a steroid drug, reduced deaths by about a third. That is by far the best progress we've had in a drug so far. Combining that with what's happening with vaccines, investors are quite hopeful that within a year or so, we'll have enough drugs to get the COVID situation under control. Fed Reserve Chairman Powell testified that the sharp drop in the economy is going to cause long-term damage, particularly by widening the gap between skilled and unskilled workers as they get jobs back. He emphasized that the Federal Reserve is not only going to keep interest rates at zero for the next two years or so, but is going to continue to buy billions of dollars worth of bonds to keep liquidity going in both the markets and the economy. All of this has caused the stock market to rise sharply as the averages are up 40% since the March lows. People are really getting very aggressive these days as well and becoming quite speculative. For example, Hertz stock went bankrupt recently and right after that, the speculators came in and moved the stock up by 400%. There's also a new stock called Nikola, which came public on June 3rd and it's already up by 90%. They make fuel cell trucks. Fed Chairman Powell also said that Congress should pass another rescue bill because the existing CARES Act runs out at the end of July. If not renewed, millions of people will lose their unemployment benefits and states and municipalities will have to lay off millions of government workers because they won't have the money to pay them. The Trump administration said they want to do a $1 trillion package to put money into infrastructure. So it's not clear at all what, if any, package Congress is actually going to pass to help the economy. With all these dramatic events and volatile moves in the financial markets, it's easy to freeze up and do nothing with your investments and personal finances. But that is not a good idea, and if there was ever a time to get your financial act together and get a financial advisor to help you, now is it. A seasoned financial advisor can help you take the emotion out of investment decisions and make sure you have a realistic budget, make sure you're properly insured, and get your investments back on track. The affiliate I recommend at MoneyAnswers.com to help you find a financial advisor is called SmartAdvisor.com. You answer a few quick questions and the system matches you with three financial advisors in your area. You can find a link to Smart Advisor in the video description and it's all for free. I want you to have the tools and knowledge you need to navigate through these very tricky times and improve your personal finances. I'm Jordan Goodman and this has been the Money Answers Week in Review for the week of June 15th. Thank you.